Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters. Today I have a word of encouragement for you. This word is going to help you in whatever you are going through. Brothers and sisters, this word is for you. The word is, they are still laughing and mocking you. But don't worry. Because God is going to deal with them one by one. I know some of you, you are in a situation, a predicament where you are caught up and you are stuck. And people are laughing at you. They are mocking you. They are saying all sorts of words that you are never going to come out. That nothing good is going to come out of you. Some of them are looking at you and they have despised you. They have despised you. They are trying to create a lot of stories and narratives about you. But my brothers and sisters, stay focused on God. God is going to deal with them one by one. When you look at uh, uh, Noah, Noah was told to, uh, for those that do not know, he was told to build the ark. And as he was building the ark and calling people to enter the ark, people laughed at him. They mocked him. Some of them looked at him as though he was insane. They looked at him as, as though he was crazy, out of his mind, mad. Just like some of you, people are looking at you as though you are crazy. You're trying to build something in the right direction. You're trying to do what God has called you to do. And people are mocking. A wicked generation is laughing at you. But what I encourage you to do is to focus on what God has told you to do. Don't focus on the people. Don't focus on the haters. You see, Noah did not focus on his haters. Noah did not focus on his mockers, on those that laughed at him. He continued to do the work of God. And when the time came, he had built the ark. The rain came down. Those that mocked at him, they died. They were dealt with. Noah and his family were saved. God will save you. God will save you in that situation. No matter what they are saying about you. No matter what story and narrative they have created concerning you, God will save you. I'll give you an example of the apostles. How they were mocked. Some of them were beaten and left for dead. An example is the apostle Paul. He was beaten for doing what is good and left for dead. But God saved him. They thought that he was dead. God saved him. God will save you. God will rescue you. God will deliver you. He is a God that delivers his people. Remember that he says that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Those are two powerful words. Those are two powerful words. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Whenever you feel alone in a situation, in a predicament, Remember this scripture, that God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never ever leave you. It is people that leave God, actually. People leave God, and after leaving God, they put the blame. They play the victim. They play the victim and put the blame on God, that God has left them. They start asking questions, where were you, God? And yet God was there with you. God was trying to speak to you. God was trying to communicate to you. So God does not leave you. It is people that leave God. Look at the story of the prodigal son. That the son left the father. Not the other way around. The father did not leave the son. The father actually was waiting for the son's return. Brothers and sisters, God is with you even when they are mocking you you see in during jesus's ministry the people mocked him when he was being beaten when he was being handed over to uh 
the Romans and all those that wanted to uh, beat him up. They beat him up. They did all sorts of unspeakable things. But he did not lose his faith in God because he knew who his father was. He knew his mission. Jesus did not live a life of sin. He did not have any sin. He did the father's will. He was perfect in all ways, much less in all ways. They tried to accuse him. They tried to uh, trap him, but he remained firm. Brothers and sisters, even when they mock you, even when they laugh you, have this confidence, this confidence in God that he is with you. He is with you. He is your present help in terms of need. In times where you need him, God is your present help. Some of you, uh, there are people who you think that they are friends or your relatives and family. But when you need them, they will not help you. They will, you can call them and they will say, give me until next week. Wait for me until next month. But God will never tell you that. God is your present help. Present, right upon. When you need him, he will be there. Just pray. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. Don't just knock once, and you keep going away. Some people, they knock, and they leave the door. Don't knock, and just leave. Knock and wait. Continue knocking. Continue seeking. Continue asking because you shall receive. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a powerful word for you. If this message has been a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my paper, which is in the about section. Now, my brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.